Today I have a quick nifty technique using the blend tool to make illustrator line art. Follow along in today's Satori Graphics Illustrator tutorial. What is up people, welcome back to Satori Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. I've made a tutorial about 6 months ago on this technique, but we used the technique to make an animal in that case. Today we're going to make an actual digital line art design using the blend tool. Make a new document in Illustrator and then choose a dark black colour in the colour palette. Using the rectangle tool, create a shape over the entire canvas and then lock it in place so it doesn't move around. Then select a stroke that is white in colour and then choose the brush tool. You can use the pen tool as well if you want to. On the canvas make some lines like I'm doing here and you need at least two lines that intersect. You can experiment with this method using different lines and the blend tool to give you different outcomes. Once you've drawn out the lines, change the stroke away to something very thin and then go up to object, blending options and then blend. You need to choose specific steps and then use the first setting on the left here. You have to experiment with the number of steps you use but I'm going to use 18. You then need to go up to object, blending options and then make to activate the blend tool. From here you can use the direct selection tool to adjust your line art design. This may take a while but play around with it and also go back and change your line layout or number of steps. With the line art selected, you can then add a gradient like so. Again, play around with the colours in the gradient style, as this can look really cool over a dark background. So here's my line art design using the blend tool, and now we can add more details to finish the design. Add a dark square and put it over the design, and then open up the transparency window. Changing the blend mode to overlay or something similar will have a kind of transparency effect. Again, play around with the blend modes and add as many shapes to your design in this fashion. I'm simply showing you guys the method in today's tutorial. Here I've added some type and some white lines to my design. You can really have lots of fun using these techniques to make your very own line art design using the blend tool in Illustrator. Let me know what you thought of today's tutorial by Satori Graphics. Drop a like and a comment on the video if you did find it useful. Have fun playing around with the blend tool to make your own line art designs and even post it on Instagram or Twitter and tag me. Subscribe for weekly graphic design uploads and have a great weekend everybody. Until next time, design your future today. Peace.